Welcome to my bathroom. Today I'm going to show you how to change a crappy rat's nest wig from Spirit Halloween into a, a not so crappy wig from Spirit Halloween or Walmart, wherever you get your wig. It's fine. All right, welcome to Voice Over Me. Hi, how are you guys? I'm putting my hair up very loosely just so I have a place to put the wig so I can style it a little bit because I don't have a wig head. There it is in all of its ratty glory. Then you're gonna brush it out and make sure there's no tangles because there will be a lot out of the packaging. Then you're gonna straighten it. Be very careful doing this because it is made of synthetic hair. Make sure that your heat tool is on the lowest setting possible. Do a touch strand underneath to make sure you don't burn the wig. If you do burn your wig, I'm not responsible, I warned you, be careful, don't be dumb. Alright? Cool. Good talk. You don't have to make it perfectly straight, but get it to a point that you're like okay with. And then you're gonna cut it, don't be afraid of this part. Alright? It's not that hard, it's a cheap wig, if you mess it up, you mess it up. Just cut some layers into it, it helps to make it look a little bit more natural. No one's hair is that thick. I go in like diagonal motions, cause it just helps to cut layers pretty easy. Then I'm taking it off, brushing it, pulling out all the loose hairs, yada yada yada. Alright, spray the crap out of this thing with dry shampoo. It helps get rid of some of the shininess, which is one of the biggest things about Halloween wigs. Then take eyeshadow. This is going to differ depending on the color of your wig. But I'm using black and gray because this one's white. Add some roots. It helps to give it a little bit more of a natural appearance. Then you're going to put your wig cap on. Actually put the wig on this time as if you're going to wear it because you're going to actually style it this time. Okay, cool. Try to find a nude wig cap if you can because since this isn't lace front, you're probably going to see it if you have a small forehead like me. Then style your bangs if you have them. Style it how you want it to sit on your head and spray the crap out of it with a strong hold hairspray. This helps a ton to keep like wispies and just keep it styled the way you want it. Alright, once I have this bang situation figured out, I'm personally taking a little clip and taking like a half up half do kind of thing for this wig because it's still really thick and that just looks dumb to me and I preferred it this way so that's what I did but you can style yours any way you want and that's what it looks like. Alright for this blue wig I already did everything I did to the white one to this however for the white one I didn't do this concealer trick I'm going to show you so I'm going to show you on this one instead. So basically what you want to do is just take a concealer that you have that matches your skin and put it where your scalp would be, like in your natural hair. It helps make it look more natural since it's not a lace front and it doesn't actually have a scalp to it. This kind of gives it one. Alright, and then I did the same thing I did for the white one for this one because I think that style just makes it look more natural. So also the concealer thing that I did for this one at the end, um, I didn't do for this one because this is like... It would look dumb, in my opinion, and I'm not going to wear these out. Uh, they're strictly for photo shoots, so I didn't really care that much. But yeah, this wig was $16.99, I think, at Spirit, and then the white one was $24.99, I think. So, pretty inexpensive. You can do the same thing that I showed you with like Walmart wigs or Target wigs, too, by the way. It just takes a lot more time and it's a lot harder because they're not as nice quality as the spirit ones, obviously. So just keep that in mind. This one, honestly, I feel like I could get away with wearing out. Especially if I threw just a beanie over it. Like, I don't think it looks bad right now, but if I threw a beanie over it, it'd be game over. Also, please keep in mind too, that if you really want like a natural looking hairline, you need to get a lace front wig, which are obviously a little more expensive. You can get really cheap ones on Amazon specifically. I've gotten ones from Amazon. They take a little bit of work to um, fix them up a little to make them look natural, but it's a lot cheaper than like $100 lace front wigs uh, that you still have to do work on anyways. I know that a lot of people wear wigs for Halloween costumes or Halloween parties, and Halloween wigs are typically not that good of quality. So this is just a little something that you guys can do if you want them to look a little bit better. If you guys just want to up your costume game a little bit, making the wig for your costume look nicer than it is, is a super easy way to do that. And both of these wigs took me like 15 to 20 minutes to do, so not difficult. If you guys like this video or you want more Halloween tips or makeup tips overall, uh, not makeup tips, I don't really do that, but just, you know, tips, fun videos, fun stuff, hang out with me. If you guys want to see more of me, like this video and subscribe to my channel, please. And I don't have a filming schedule thing yet, but I will probably soon. Alright, bye!